Hi everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys, if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that I've been getting the book subscription for South Africa, which is the bookcase. And March was the Harry Potter theme and I can't remember which, which book it was, but you kind of pick your house and you pick hardcover, paperback, and then, you know, they kind of formulate this box so it's arrived. It feels kind of heavy. I just want to show you guys there. So it looks the same. The box is the same as the other ones, but it does feel like it's got a bit of weight in. So I'm curious to see what's in here. I am one of those like crazy people. I don't know. Well, I do know, but it's kind of complicated. So I'm a Libra. So <laughs> the scales, I tend to sort of, I I'm find it very hard to decide one way or another. So <sighs> What I am trying to say is that I'm actually not 100% sure which house I'm in. A friend of mine is adamant that I'm in Ravenclaw, I've always thought I'm in Gryffindor, and I've tried numerous tests and I either come up as Gryffindor or Ravenclaw and kind of like one Gryffindor, one Ravenclaw, one Gryffindor, one Ravenclaw. I don't seem to have like a Gryffindor day or a Ravenclaw day, I just kind of have like a multiple day. So I tend to be kind of half between <laughs> both. and. Um, uh, yeah, if any of you guys are Libras, you'll know what I'm talking about. It tends to be really confusing. So I ended up picking Ravenclaw and I figured let's go for it and see how this kind of goes. So I'm going to dive in and let's have a look what's in this box. So I'm going to have you give you guys, oh, it's very brightly colored. I'm going to give you guys a little squiz there. So the theme was Quality Weasley Goods. Oh yes, and it was the Half-Blood Prince. So it's got a little thing at the back here. I'm not going to go through that, but how cute does this look? Almost makes you think of like one of those little, um, yeah, a circus basically, actually. So let's take off our luminous. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot explain to you how, guys, how excited I am. So really, I think this is like a little Weasley's wizard, wizarding goods little sticker. But anyway, let's have a look. So there is a bombastic bath bomb. That actually is pretty cool. So I've got two little boys and I'm willing to bet, hmm, this would be very interesting, but I think I'm gonna keep it to myself. Bath bombs are quite a, quite a cool special little thing. So if that you guys can see, it's actually just, it's dark gray. It smells mild, but nice. I'm actually not quite sure. I'll have a look on the thing now and see what flavor that is. But that actually is pretty cool. Nice little bath bomb. And then, oh, oh my gosh, I'm completely nerding out, guys. Oh my, oh my gosh. I, I nerded out the other day, actually. Like, I, I sat here, I sat having my morning coffee. And I came across the trailer for the new Shadow and Bone series. And I just like completely nerded out. I think my husband thought I was absolutely insane. But anyway, and he does my editing for this, so he's probably gonna have a good giggle when he when he has a look at this. So this is kind of bubble wrap, and it's all in gold, which looks really cool. I bet this is something to do with the bath as well. It says, let me just get the rest of this off. Oh, so if you guys are wondering why I'm deciding to sit on the floor today. I had a busy day. I meant to do this video earlier today, actually, while the sun was up, but didn't quite get that far because uh, we, we bought some new bookcases. I'm homeschooling and um, my two little boys, and we have a ton of books and toys. And we wanted to make this wall in our lounge just with like books and toys and all sorts of fun. That's what you can see behind me. And uh, yeah, we got another two bookcases today. Now our wall's finished and we've been putting it up and I've been moving, moving stuff around and I've had to kind of pack twice as fast as my little one who's three because whatever I pack, he unpacks. So it's been kind of like trying to keep up with him. But anyway, I'll pop a picture in so that you guys can see what, what we've been up to. But anyway, this is Felix Felicis. Oh my gosh. And it's like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like glowy. Hey, and I'm sure this is Felix Felicis grants whoever drinks it an unusual great bath of good luck. Duration of action depends on the amount one in, in hues. Okay. 
Okay, I'm sure this is for the bath. It, it says everything about Felix Felicis. It even says adverse potion reactions. Excessive consumption has been shown to cause side effects such as giddiness and overzealousness. So that is like super true to Harry Potter. And it's even got the little crest at the bottom of the bottle there. I hope you guys can see. But I am, um, yeah, I'm sure that must be some sort of bath. It's a liquid bubble bath. <laughs> that is very cool. And it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, I love that color. That's going to be so fun. So fun. It's like full of glitter. <gasps> and it's, you know, being in South Africa, we're opposite to, you know, all the other videos that we've seen. They all kind of like, you know, a lot of the books, other booktubers are kind of getting ready and like putting on summer t-shirts and dresses and kind of getting into the summer vibes and spring vibes again. We're going into winter. So this is very very cool it's a, a brown little uh, <laughs> brown it's a blue beanie and it says muggle i suppose i am a muggle anyway it says don't let this muggle get you down okay i won't let myself get myself down that is so super cute and let's have a look oh no oh no that's just like i don't even know <laughs> okay this says so these are some some um bookmarks oh goodness and i'm dropping them here and there is one that is twerking snape and one that says a um, member of the elite slug club so those look very cute yeah some more cute little bookmarks and then there is something wrapped in here this looks interesting I can see through the bubble wrap in this one. It says ones up. They certainly pack this very well so that nothing breaks. <gasps> this must be a candle. Oh gosh. Sandalwood, bergamot, and vanilla. This is going to smell gorgeous. Look at that. And it's in this cute little bottle with a glass lid. Oh my word, that's heavenly. And it's got like black and silver glitter, glitter in the top, but it smells just gorgeous. Mm. Candles are so gorgeous. That is just lovely. It's going to smell divine. And I got another one a while back, so that's going to be super fun. Oh, Weasley's Wizard Weeds' book pouch. Mayhem this way. This looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm going to take this off. You guys can see it just says Weasley Wizard Weezes. <laughs> That's almost like a, a complete tongue twister. We Weasley's Wizard Weezes book patch. Mayhem this way. That looks like so much fun. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ready, Fred? Ready, George. Hey, oh my word. And it's even got little pouches in the front. Look at that. It's got like a little pouch in the front. And a flap. And it says more mayhem over here. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And another random little sticker thingy. Wow, and the hardcover. Oh, don't you love the sprayed edges? Look at that. Half Blood Prince Ravenclaw edition. Oh, that is just gorgeous. So I've I've been wanting to get the illustrated versions of, of Harry Potter for my boys, and I managed to get hold of um the fourth one. I, I it looks like there's only the first four that are are done. Oh man, this is so cute. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. Paper cute. That must be the supply of it. It looks... Oh. And it's such a nice quality bag, actually. This is going to be gorgeous. I, I like go nowhere without my box. So that is going to be a fantastic to kind of travel my books around with. Hey? Travel. Put my books in to travel with. I um, It's been a long day. So this little... Uh, Envelope, you see, long day, lost brain cells, absolutely no brain cells. Anyway, little artwork thingy over here. Let's have a look what's in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, Snape's on a plane. So I don't know if you guys know, there's a movie called, well, I'm sure most of you guys know, but there's a movie called Snakes on a Plane. Now this is Snape's on a plane. <laughs> Weird, what a pun, isn't that hilarious? very very cute so guys that is my my box kind of done oh yes i was saying the the illustrated books oh i'm having such a moment 
the illustrator books i managed to get the fourth one it looks like only the first four are out in illustrator versions and i got the fourth one at like an incredible deal on i want to say loot 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 was absolutely fantastic and i got it on a really good special on on loot like next to nothing actually compared to what most of them are kind of for sale for and it is just gorgeous and i'm wanting to get i want to get the others and um like i'm looking at like maybe getting them from reader's warehouse um if any of you guys are, are overseas or you know local for me is south africa so if you guys are overseas obviously you know you guys have got barnes and nobles i'm so jealous and like um gosh you've got access to such beautiful beautiful shops over there and amazon and like all these things and we do too but you know we pay hectic shipping and stuff like that although i'm sure some of you guys pay shipping as well but you know for us we kind of limited to please let me know if you guys know of any really great you know local supplies that i can get in touch with raru i'm sorry raru raru has been absolutely ridiculously like completely terrible um take a lot really good loot their prices are really really good and if you can find the stock in readers warehouse readers warehouse is fantastic but um getting right back on track it's been one of those days <laughs> this has been such a cute little box i'm absolutely in love with my little pouch i think that's just fantastic i think a lot of my books are gonna go traveling in here and oh is it not just beautiful the blue really really lovely it's almost got like a sort of matte matte finish and it's got the raven claw on the side look how beautiful that is just just gorgeous just gorgeous and um yeah i'm not a massive beanie person but i'm totally think i'm gonna be wearing this one how does it look anyway guys it was so good to kind of share this with you i've been dying to open it all day and um i'll have to see you for the next video